Hello everyone, we miss you so much and we can't wait to see you very soon, God willing. My name is Daniel, I'm one of the servants in year 3B class. I'm coming today with Rita, Kristen, Rebecca to give you a very beautiful lesson that we prepared for you. Today, we'll start with a very short prayer. I'm going to take from that to a lesson that Kristen is going to lead us through. And this is a lesson about one of the most holy saints in our Orthodox Church, Ambo Abraham, the Bishop of Fayyum and Giza. Ambo Abraham was very famous of giving. He used to give everything that he had. And then after that, we're going to go with an activity that I would like every one of you to run through in, the, in your home today. Today, we're going to start with a short prayer. So let's go for it. Are you ready? Daniel! Let's, ah, can what you happened? help me? Of course I can. Let me look at that. Yeah. What so do you want to do? I want to fix that one. I can't do it. Uh, leave it with me. Just a second. Here you go. Done? No. Just a second. Right. This is how you can do it. And then from here, you disable that one. And then enable that one. And you're done. Here you go. Thank you, Daniel, for your help. That's OK, Thank Rita. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, just stay, just stay with us. What? We're going to do a very short prayer together today. And then we're going to move on to the next uh, activity or the next lesson. Okay? In the name of the Father, the Son, Son, Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for thine is the kingdom and power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. So what's our lesson today, Daniel? So our lesson today, Rita, is about Amba Abraham, the Bishop of Fayyum and Giza, and how actually he helped everyone that asked him to do. He actually gave everything that he had and he was very very happy when he did so wow it's like what you did with me exactly right thank that's you that's exactly when you come to someone that, to ask him to help if it was amba abraham he would have definitely helped you amba abraham helped everyone that asked for help so let's wait together and we go to the next thing and then with christian is going to teach us about amba abraham and how he was a cheerful giver just like Daniel said, we're going to now read a story about Saint Abram called A Friend of the Poor by Sherry Fanous. When Saint Abram was just a little boy, he loved the church and every Sunday morning he would always wake up his parents early so he could attend the mass and pray and attend Sunday school, just like you guys did before the coronavirus stopped us. <laughs> Saint Abram had a very kind and gentle heart. Whenever he would go for walks to the shop, he never used to notice the tall buildings or little toys on the ground. He'd only notice the poor people on the street and he'd always say a little prayer in his heart for them. When Saint Abram grew older, his love for the church grew and his relationship with God grew stronger. And with his confession father, they both decided that he would become a monk. Now, a monk is a person who lives in the church and gives all their time to the church. During his many years as a monk, he loved to work in silence and always help those in need. Saint Abram would do everything that he could to help around the monastery. No job was too big or too small for him. Just like when our parents ask us to help clean or put our plates away in the kitchen, we should always do so. Everyone around Saint Abram knew he was a righteous and generous monk. After many years of being a monk, he was ordained as a bishop. Now, a bishop is a monk who is responsible for the other monks, priests, and all people from the congregation. Saint Abram was now the bishop of Fayum. One day, Saint Abram felt in his heart that he wanted to help others. He turned his home into a shelter to help those who were homeless, poor, and that were sick. Everyone knew that Saint Abram loved to help others, so they always brought all their friends to come to the shelter so he could help them. When people asked him for money, he would always give cheerfully. 
One day, a lady came and asked him, Could I have some money to feed my baby? He replied, I have no money, but take this scarf. Sell it and use the money. The lady was very thankful, even though she didn't know that this scarf was his only one and that it would keep him warm all winter. Just like St. Abram gave his only scarf away, we can also share our last chocolate or lolly with our brothers or sisters. St. Abram would spend a lot of time with people who were less fortunate. He would tell them stories from the Bible and spread God's love. People who were sick were often brought to St. Abram and through his prayers they were healed. God listened to St. Abram's prayers because he loved him so much. St. Abram always lived by the verse, God loves a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7. In all that St. Abram did, in all that he gave, in all the ways he helped, he did so with a cheerful and generous heart. By his love and service towards those in need, many were able to witness Christ in him. We can do the same not only by giving money or healing the sick, but by doing the most important thing, and that is to pray. And that was a story on St. Abram. Thank you for listening. Now we're going to go to Rebecca as she explains to us the activity for this week. Hi guys, missing you all so terribly. Um, in light of today's lesson, we learned about St. Abram and he's known as the friend of the poor. So we're just going to go over the memory verse for today. So it's in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 7. Now, where is Corinthians? Is it in the Old Testament? Or the New Testament? It's in the New Testament. It's one of the epistles that St. Paul wrote. So it's after the Gospels. So the Gospels, there's four, four Gospels. So it's after that. So we're going to grab our Bibles. And we're going to open it up and have a look. So in the New Testament, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. And at the end of the verse, it says... For God loves a cheerful giver. Can you repeat that after me? For God loves a cheerful giver. Say it again. For God loves a cheerful giver. So in light of that verse, this is this week's activity. What does it mean by giving? So, we always know giving to the poor is always money or food or clothing, something like that. But giving is so much more than that. Giving, as we said, can be money. It can be items like clothing, food, toiletries. It can be of your time. So like we give time to God, giving time to others to help them with things. It can be your effort. So, you know, working towards something with people for the benefit of others and another thing is your skills and talents there's a story that there was a monk and before he was a monk he was in the circus and he was a clown so he used to juggle things and one day one of the monks walked into his cell and they found him there sitting and juggling and they asked him why are you juggling like, why don't you pray? Why aren't you reading your Bible? And he said, all I know how to do is juggle, so I am juggling before God. So what I challenge you guys to do this week is to give to others. Now, we're stuck at home, so others include your family. So a couple ideas is, you know, helping mum take out the trash, helping mum with dinner, you know, helping dad build something or fix something at home, helping your siblings with their homework or just spending time with them because we're all just locked up in the house and the best thing to do is spend time together. Another thing, and most importantly, always praying for others. God sees that and God will reward that. So I challenge you guys, do something good this week, give to your family, Give to others if you can, and once you've done it, just give us a message on the group chat and tell us what you got up to. All right. Missing you guys all. Take care. Keep safe. Bye.